Well, welcome to our fr Friday morning devotions. Thank you for joining with us this week. All week we've been thinking about the boundaries that God sets for our well-being and the well-being of his creation. And each boundary has brought its challenges to us. This morning I'm going to read from John chapter 14 and verses 1 to 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This morning we're thinking about the boundary of direction. God has sent his Son. Jesus to show us the way. But of course, at times, we try to find our own way. And the result of that is that we end up feeling quite lost. God clearly has a plan and direction for our lives. When we get that direction wrong and we realize it and turn around, and ask God for guidance, well, then God will bring us back. He will lead us back into the right way and the right paths for our lives. One thing I like doing when I'm walking a long distance, uh, maybe a long distance pathway, is to occasionally look back to see how far I've come. If it's a very open area, like a coastal walk, you can often see where you set off, off from and all the ins and outs and the ups and downs that you've traveled along. It's encouraging to see the distance that you've covered and not just simply to focus on the way ahead. All of our lives have been a journey with God, sometimes without the awareness of his nearness sometimes with an awareness of the journey that he has marked out for our lives. It certainly is an up and down experience, an in and out experience. But we've all come a long way since we set out to walk with God and to follow in his footsteps and to find his direction for our lives. So let's pause for a moment and be encouraged by looking back at how far we have come. Occasionally, we need to stop and realize that we've gone outside of those boundaries of God's direction and we've set our own pathway. For whatever reason, we've lost our way. I think doing a lot of walking over the years, I've learnt, or I've tried to learn, to stop whenever I feel I don't quite know the direction ahead. When I feel I'm not sure of which way I should be turning, well, I've tried to learn to stop, get the map out, have a look, try and work it out, and then to carry on when I've got a better idea of the right direction. Maybe again, this is a moment on our great journey when it's a good time to pause and to reconnect with God's word so that we can continue to be directed along the path of life that God has set out for us. Be encouraged this morning 
God has the most amazing journey for our lives. And it doesn't finish until we cross over that threshold of our life into the next. The boundaries that God has set are all about God's protective love for us, are all about us finding direction and God's purposes for our lives. It is a wonderful journey that we've been called to. And so enjoy it. And let's try all of us to keep on the right road. A prayer to finish this week. In my journey in with you, may I never lose my sense of direction. May I never lose sight of the landmark towards which I travel. And should cloud or rain obscure my vision, may I draw close to you so that my feet may tread in your footsteps. Your words be my encouragement. Your love be my protection against the storms that so often come against me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and God's Holy Spirit. Amen. Your feet, O oh Lord, have walked this earth. Your knees have knelt among its shade. Teach us to tread your path of love and kneel where broken words are made. Your hands have held the hand of from the wrong that with such ease may seem the right Your breast was steeped in pain 